yeah, I used to be a, a kid who used to think and tinker and whatever. My mom said there was a story where I was in a luggage store with my mom, and some lady came up to her and said, hey, your kid here is playing with a lock at like two years old. You know, he, he seems to understand how this lock works. She's like, you better keep your eye on this kid. He knows what he's doing. My name is Mahmoud Lababidi. I'm a PhD student at George Mason University. I'm doing my PhD in physics. My focus is condensed matter theory. My current projects include a new material called topological insulators. One thing that makes me wary of this is that if you look at this realistically, you know, there's just... Right, right. Most of the time, this is not paired. Some of the stuff I study involves basically asking questions about quantum systems or, or asking questions about uh, some of these materials that, that are just discovered. Some of the calculations I do can be used later on in an experiment, and that experiment can then be used for some application. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm preempting whatever experiment, whatever future application could be done. This is longer because is longer. delta is smaller. That's like electron volts, right? Now it's like an M. What most people think a PhD program is, is you come in, take a bunch of classes, come up with some brilliant idea and write about it, okay? That's, that's not it. When you find the right professor, you find a professor to work with, he will mentor you to help you yeah, become very like independent, a, in, a, in a way driven to kind of do what it is that you want to do. My yeah. advisor, Er Hai Zhao, showed me this beautiful world of condensed matter physics with, you know, you can, you can study this effect, you can study superfluids, you can study cold atoms, you can study all this, and I didn't realize that condensed matter physics is basically, you know, quantum physics of today. Mahmoud is actually a remarkable person. I encourage him to formulate his own ideas. I can point to a direction, say, uh, look, here's what this direction I think is going to be interesting, and we can do something about it. And here's the, the kind of the work other people are doing. And you can take a look and tell me what, how you think about that. Every time I tell somebody I'm getting a PhD in physics, they're like, what are you going to do with that? And the reason I don't have an answer is because I'm doing what I'm doing right now. I want to do physics. If, if I have the opportunity, you know, to continue doing what I'm doing, which is research, um, I would love to do it. I try to take it one day at a time, uh, but you know, it's, it's something to think about, of course, but it's, um, you know, life throws you curveballs all the time. I mean, look at me. I'm sitting here interviewing about my physics program that uh, if you go back many years ago, I would have said, are you crazy? Me? Do physics? You know, me publish papers in physics? No, can't be.